Hello, my name is Davide Botto. This was the theme of uh, the overture of Nozze di Figaro by Mozart. The opera was composed in uh, 1786 and uh, all the plot lasts only one day. So from the very beginning it's uh, clear that the protagonist of the plot if, is speed and the speed is the main object also of the overture as you listened before. So this is a big uh, technical challenge for both for the orchestra but especially for the double basses for our technique. So first of all what I would like to suggest to practice this uh, excerpt is given that it is so fast Practice it very slowly. When you want to be sure to get fastness, when you want to get speed in, in your playing, the first rule at home is practicing very slow. Being aware of each movement you do with your left hand, in this case mostly left hand, but also with your uh, right arm. So. The speed suggested, the metronome suggested for this overture is between uh, 70 and 80 per bar. You have obviously to try to educate your hand to work in time, so even if you practice slowly, try to do it with, with the metronome. Uh, after this, suggested uh, fingerings. My opinion is that you have not to stress too much 4 3 or 4 2 articulation because it is very weak. So, what I suggest it is to uh, replace instead of the third or the second finger the fourth in the following bar. So, you begin with 3 or 2 and then you put your fourth finger. Then you have to cross one string. In order to be uh, clear and to be fast, your first finger who goes to the second string has to move a little bit before. So you have to anticipate your movement. So before, before reaching the second string with the bow, you have to reach it with your uh, first finger. After this, you have two possibilities. You can change string or you can stay here. What I suggest in this case is to, to maintain the same string, not to change color of the sound. It's something like a, a little shock if you play. Much better. It is the same color of sound. So, in the in this very difficult uh, beginning of the overture, if the sound stays at the same level for all the seven bars of the beginning, it's much better. Both for a good result for an audition, but especially for really playing in a orchestra. Another very important thing to improve the sense of articulation when you play legato, it is to use very uh, short bow at the tip. So you have not to waste bow, but stay at the tip. So every time you have a legato, not also in pianissimo, but generally speaking, and you want to give more sense of detailed articulation, try to shorten your bow. I mentioned now the seven bars of the beginning. This is a very strange thing because we have uh, uh, this marvelous theme of the Nozze di Figaro that is something strange. Maybe first time we have in classical music a theme lasting 
seven bars and not eight. This Mozart wanted to give us immediately the idea of something very mad, very crazy, very different. The subtitle of the opera is La Folle Journée, that means the crazy day, and also the theme is immediately crazy. And after this very strange uh, beginning, you have an explosion of forte at bar 12, uh, that uh, um, breaks this uh, uh, atmosphere of uh, like mice, uh, like mice in, in, a, in a small room. And then bar 12, there's the fortissimo of all the orchestra in which we start again playing we double basses. That is. <laughs> What I suggest for this spiccato is to try to stay very close to the string. We need, uh, at the same time, very precise attack and sound, but also we need fortissimo, so we can't jump too much. <laughs> 